Hello all. Once you have made a Unity mobile application, whether Android or iOS, you would want to earn revenue from it the best way possible. Displaying ads on your mobile app is one of the best way to earn revenue. The users of your mobile application watch your ad and if they are interested in it, they click it. Every click gives you a share of revenue. To display ads, you must use a mobile ad network which can show ads from advertisers. The best source of revenue is through AdMob Ad Network, owned by Google. So, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how mobile publishers can monetize a Unity 3D application using Google AdMob Ad Network. Your ads can be placed in different ad formats. For example, they can be in the form of a banner ad, displayed at the bottom of your screen in a rectangular format. Or they can be a full-screen ad displayed before the Unity 3D game moves to next level. There are few initial steps required towards displaying AdMob ads and earning revenue. These steps are common to implementing any ad format. This tutorial focuses on implementing these initial steps. The first step is to integrate the Google Mobile Ads Unity plugin into the app. The Google Mobile Ads Unity plugin enables Unity developers to easily serve Google Mobile Ads on Android and iOS apps without having to write Java or Objective-C code. The plugin provides a C-Sharp interface for requesting ads that is used by C-Sharp scripts in your Unity project. First, download the Unity package for the plugin from the link in the description below. Then import the Mobile Ads Unity plugin into your Unity project in the Unity editor by going to Assets, then Import, then Custom Package and find the Google Mobile Ads plugin.unity package file you downloaded. Select all the files and click Import. The next step is to include the Mobile Ads SDK, which comes with the Google Mobile Ads Unity plugin. The Google Mobile Ads Unity plugin is distributed with the Unity Play Services Resolver Library. This library is intended for use by any Unity plugin that requires access to Android specific libraries, example ARs or iOS CocoaPods. It provides Unity plugins the ability to declare dependencies which are then automatically resolved and copied into your Unity project. Below are the steps to ensure your project includes the Mobile Ads SDK, which by the way is common for both Android and iOS. In the Unity editor, select Assets, then External Dependency Manager, then Android Resolver and then Resolve. The Unity External Dependency Manager library will copy the declared dependencies into the assets slash plugins slash Android directory of your Unity app if your app is for Android platform. Or assets slash plugins slash iOS directory if your app is for iOS platform. The next step is to set your AdMob app ID. An AdMob app ID is a unique ID of the mobile app which you create on your AdMob account. Note that the IDs are different for both Android and iOS. You can get tutorials on how to create AdMob app ID in AdMob from Internet. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to make a tutorial on this. So, coming back to setting up AdMob app ID in the Unity editor, Select Assets, then Google Mobile Ads, then Settings from the menu. Provide your Android and iOS AdMob app ID in each field. Before loading ads, have your app initialize the Mobile Ads SDK by calling MobileAds.initialize. This needs to be done only once, ideally at app launch. Here's an example of how to call initialize within the start method of a script attached to a game object. I hope this helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell button to show your support. Also, consider to like, comment and share my channel for more fun videos.
I post new videos frequently, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.